In order for your GMRS radio, or any other radio for that matter, to work properly, you've got to have a good antenna. And just like with radios, there's a lot of antenna choices, so it's important that you find the right radio and antenna combination to work best for you. Today we're going to use a couple of different antennas on GMRS to see what works best in our area. Now radio transmissions work best with line of sight. Because we live in a valley, our typical line of sight is about 5 to 7 miles, with our best line of sight being about 10. Today we're going to be working in this area right here, which is about five to seven miles of line of sight. So is this antenna better than that antenna? This antenna is 25 and a quarter inches tall. It's a five dBi gain antenna. And this one's like three and a quarter inches tall and it's a three dB gain antenna. And what about extended range antennas for your portable radios? Are they worth it? You know, the big, long, goofy ones that come for your portable radio. Do they actually make a difference? All right, so today we're gonna test these antennas and see if the, any one of them is better than the other. Today I got my buddy Bob giving me a hand testing these. He's running a TID radio portable. It's a TDH3 portable radio. He's gonna use the stock antenna and then he'll use the taller whip antenna or extended range antenna. All right, we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be using channel 22 today on Simplex. Uh, we live about four miles apart, so we'll do a radio test just to give us a baseline. Radio test for Bob, do you copy? I got you loud and clear. All right, perfect. We're gonna go out uh, one mile each direction. Okay, I'm gonna go a mile to the south. Bob is gonna go a mile to the north. And we'll take our four mile test and we'll turn it into a six mile test and we'll see uh, if there's any change. So the antenna we're running is our little Midland Ghost antenna. It's a 3 dB gain. I got it on an NMO uh, fender mount or hood mount. And this is the antenna that I tend to ride around with on a day to day basis. Okay, we've gone a mile in each direction. I'm gonna give Bob another try. Radio test for Bob. Okay, perfect. Same thing here. Sounds pretty clear. Um, go out about another mile and I'll give you another call. Copy that. Okay, so far so good. Okay, that test put us out about five and a half to six miles, so still running the same antennas and we'll give it another try here in a minute. Okay, we've gone another mile. Bob's got another mile, so that puts us at around seven miles. Radio test for Bob. Radio test for Bob. I still got to get loud and clear. Uh, a, little, a little bit of static, but not bad. Okay, your static's a little bit worse than it was, but you're still very readable. I'm going to go out another mile. The static is starting to pick up a little bit, but not terrible. Radio test for Bob. Radio test for Bob. All right, I just got off the phone with Bob. We've exceeded our distance. I have a mountain, not really a mountain. I have a hill in front of me, and he's kind of gone around a hill, and that's what's killing us. So like I said at the beginning of the, of the video, Five to seven miles is about all we're going to get for line of sight in our area. So at some point we've got to install a repeater, but for right now Simplex is all we have. So I just talked to him on the phone. He's going to come back a mile. Radio test, radio test. Oh, radio test. I got you loud and clear on the radio test. Okay, I think it's fair to say we're about seven and a half miles apart. Would you agree? Yeah, that's four. Okay, I'm going to go south another mile. You stay right there for a second and see if we can't stretch this out a little bit. Radio test for Bob, radio test for Bob. Okay, are you and your truck still on the little antenna? I did not copy that last transmission. All right, I'm outside the vehicle now. 
Now, does that make a difference at all? Yes, that makes a difference being outside. Yeah, you're you're a lot clearer there. Okay. Let me go south another little bit because that whatever you just getting out of your truck made a huge difference on my end. Okay, so I think it's fair to say we have good communications with your portable and my radio with the big antenna and let's call it seven and a half miles line of sight. Would that be fair? Yeah, I'd call that fair. All right, cool. Okay, so it turns out that Bob's extended range antenna is not really an extended range antenna. It's for a different, different bands. So we didn't end up using his extended range antenna and we swapped from my 3D B-gain ghost antenna to the 5.6 DBI gain antenna. And what we found is our line of sight was about seven and a half to eight miles and our best performance was at that same distance with the 5.6 dB gain antenna. However, the performance increase between that and the 3 dB gain ghost antenna was not real significant. So what does this video prove other than absolutely nothing? Well, it proves that you gotta go out and you gotta test your equipment. I know that right now, I can run that ghost antenna on my car day to day, and for the most part, I can use my GMRS radio in most situations. The only time I gotta go to a bigger antenna is if you're operating in a fringe area. So if you've got a ghost antenna on your rig right now, you're doing pretty good. Remember, I'm only using a 15 watt mobile radio and Bob was only using a small portable radio and we had pretty good performance. So there's a lot of variables when using a two-way radio. Line of sight is the biggest one. Probably the most important thing we learned today was on Bob's end with his portable radio, if you sit in the truck, your performance is gonna suffer. As soon as he got out of the truck, there was a significant increase in performance. So by going out and testing our equipment, we learned that being inside the vehicle, even with the windows open and the sunroof open, that the performance still took a hit. Unfortunately, the only way that you can figure out what radio equipment works best is if you go out and actually use it and test it. And that's what we did today. We're gonna to be testing some quarter wave antennas maybe in the next video. If you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you, and I hope you'll tune in and watch the next video. Thanks for watching.